Hello and welcome to the NFREC, the North Florida Research and Education Center, where we're celebrating 100 years of research and extension and education in the North Florida area. We hope you enjoy this short video to highlight some of the achievements and accomplishments of our faculty and staff here. Opening in 1921, the North Florida Research and Education Center has been and continues to be the staple of agricultural education and research in North Florida. While assisting nearby communities with anything and everything geared towards wildlife and agriculture. What began as a 23-acre tobacco experimental station geared towards supporting that industry in Florida is now a multi-dimensional facility with more than 1,000 acres of plant breeding, crop production, and much more. The NFREC is now the most diverse research and education center within the University of Florida IFAS and is headquartered in Quincy but also has two other sites located in Live Oak and Mariana. The Quincy facility is the most diverse, with cutting edge solutions in areas such as crop production and management, vegetable, ornamental, alternative crop development, pest and disease control, and so much more. The research, education, and extension programs at NFREC were created to assist farmers with new technologies and updated practices to keep them profitable and successful. Those tasked with that challenge are the 20 active faculty members, their staff, and graduate research students who represent the eight academic departments housed at the NFREC. But that's now. Let's take a look at how we got here. During the center's early years, what was called the North Florida Experiment Station brought experts together to combat tobacco diseases, particularly the deadly black shank disease. During this time, the station also performed variety trials on sugarcane and cover crops. In the 1950s, the center's animal science program helped local producers manage cattle herds while developing disease-resistant shade tobacco varieties. The center also opened a soil testing lab for research and offered testing services to local clientele. During the 1960s, breakthroughs in corn breeding and fertility work led to improved corn yields, while breeding and variety selection activities continued around other commodities, like small grains and soybeans. The 1970s saw the center's focus shift to additional crops, such as tomatoes and ornamentals, along with a greater emphasis on small grains, agronomic crops, such as cotton and peanuts. By the time the 80s came around, the NFREC released two important wheat varieties, FL301 and FL302. Conservation tillage methods were also introduced, reducing input costs by more than half a billion dollars. The 1990s saw researchers develop strategies to manage the tomato spotted wilt virus. The disease, vectored by small thrips, attacked vegetable crops and peanuts. 21st century innovations in the management of cotton hardlock, a condition in which cotton bowls remain closed leading to lost yield, resulted in doubling of yields and added 20 to 30 million dollars to Florida growers and the Florida economy. The Quincy location also served as the hub for Asian soybean rust research, training more than 700 scientists and students from across the nation. The center's long-term cropping system research, known as the sod-based rotation, was established and continues to serve as the testbed for multidisciplinary research and demonstration. Finally, the forestry and wildlife biology programs became part of the center, further diversifying the center's programs. Innovation and education come together at all UF IFAS research and education centers, but the diversity of the research at the center is what makes the North Florida Research and Education Center unique. Research continues to provide solutions to area growers in such areas as cutting-edge nanomaterials, semiochemicals, and soil fumigate alternatives. Other technologies have helped local producers stay ahead of the curve in combating pests and diseases, such as UAV-based sensors and tools for real-time decision-making in crop breeding and management. There is also development of alternative crops such as Coronata and hemp for renewable fuel and fiber. In addition to research and forest regeneration, in an era of climate change, 
Researchers are investigating chemical ecology of insect pests and beneficials. Conserving native ornamental species and identifying landscape plants to benefit the green industry and Florida gardeners along with breakthrough research to control the deadly rose rosette virus in roses. Finally, there is the development of the cold hardy citrus industry in North Florida and precision agricultural research aimed to reduce water and fertilizer use while improving crop yield. The NFREC impact has had a long-standing effect on the area. Local growers like Graves Williams, who has been growing tomatoes in the Quincy area since 1982, says the faculty are willing to tackle any problem you bring them on top of their already busy schedule. They never ignore you. You get, you get feedback and it takes them sometimes a few days to analyze the trouble and that kind of stuff, but the lab does diagnose any problem we have. Diagnosing problems is part of the NFREC mission and Williams's three companies use the center's updated technology and new innovations to help make his businesses successful. He says you can't think there's only one way of doing things. Opinions help, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes different opinions give you different solutions to your problem. Finding solutions is how the North Florida Research and Education Center has evolved over the last 100 years continuing to be engaged in multidisciplinary and systems level research while utilizing education and extension to evangelize its programs and applications. Here's Interim Center Director Dr. Barry Tillman, who wraps up the 100 year celebration in his own words. With the North Florida Research and Education Center, we're certainly excited to share with you our 100 years of history here in the Quincy area. And not only do we have a 100 year history that started with just a small 23 acre farm dedicated to tobacco research, but We've grown into a thousand acres of research, uh, not only in production agriculture, but also in natural resources and wildlife conservation. And we're excited not only to do the research that helps our growers, but also to educate the next generation of researchers and scientists who will propel us into the next century. And we look forward to that next century and hope that we can continue to provide the services that our, our clientele and growers need to help them succeed in their businesses.